if you are a UI designer, then you might need a soft shadows or shadows around your cards or different icons or buttons. Now in this lesson, I'm going to show you like three or four different shadows. Let me show you. So this is one, this is another one, this is another one, and I'm going to show you different techniques, secret techniques, which actually a lot of UI designers don't tell you, and I'm going to show you all of them, which I know in this lesson. So we are going to uh, see how I created these shadows and why a uh, few things or few adjustments that are going to make them look great. So I'm going to start with this first one over here. So let's zoom in and I'm going to show you, uh, it is a very soft shadow, very small shadow, like maybe one or two pixels or points you can see over here. Uh, now the magic is in, in, in this area. So first thing is that your shadow should be very transparent. So you can see over here, I have alpha value or transparency value set to just 10 percent so this is the first thing if you are going to make a very hard shadow like this one it is not going to look very good okay so 10 percent you can see over here this is just 10 percent of the color second uh, you can see over here let me show you uh, right now i'm using um, black color which is 10 percent 000 hsb or hexadecimal value 000 and a second most important thing is this area over here. So X is on the X axis, so we have shifted it uh, uh, one pixel on the right. So we are moving it from left to right. You can see over here, here we have more shadow. Let me zoom in. Here we have more shadow in this area uh, rather than this one. On the left we have less shadow, on the right we have more shadow. So this is actually controlled by this X. So in, in reality, most objects, they don't have shadow just dropping down from top to bottom. They have some shifted shadows like maybe on the right, on the left, a little bit on the right, a little bit on the left. So to make it realistic, we are going to add some X value, which is one. So let's go back. Okay, so next is Y. Y is actually top to bottom. So most uh, of the time, this value will be greater than X. So we are going to shift your shadow to points down or two pixels down and uh, this is how this actually shadow is actually uh, created so we have less shadow on the top you can see if we zoom in we have less shadow on the top and we have more shadow on the bottom so this is actually what it is uh, what the technique is to make it look more professional now the third thing is spread or blur ratio how much you want your shadow to be blurred over here. You can see over here, here we have this uh, blur. Okay, so the shadow is actually blurred to four pixels over here, within four pixels range. So if I try to increase it, let me show you. So if I try to increase it, it is going to uh, be blurred more nicely. You can see over here now it is more blurred and uh, uh, it is occupying like six pixels, nine pixels over here to blur, okay? So we don't want it to be too much, but it it mostly will be the uh, most mostly will be the maximum value uh, in all these three. So X will be mostly on lower side, Y will be uh, two, and blur will be almost uh, or double the size of Y, or it will be double the size of your this one. So right now we are using ten percent, so we don't need to worry about this. But make sure that you are going to make this one the largest B, okay? And uh, also try to use your designer sense. Don't always uh, work mathematically. See whatever uh, the size, blur size actually fits you. If it, it is uh, three or two pixels, it doesn't matter, okay? So let's go back and uh, this is how it is, okay? Now, one more thing, if you haven't noticed my background over here, my background layer, and uh, if we go to this one, let me show you. This is my background over here and uh, it is not white. So this is another magic trick. So if you are trying to, you know, create some shadows on white uh, backgrounds like this one, you are going to need a background which is a bit of gray. So right now you can see I'm using 
a background of F A F A F A. So it is a little bit, very little bit gray. So this is another trick. Okay. So try to keep in mind that if you want your shadow to be like very nice shadow, very uh, subtle shadow, you want to use a different background color. Maybe a little bit whitish gray, some kind of this, some things like that. Okay, so let's move on to next technique. Okay, so here we have, we have understood that our blur value will be uh, a lot uh, more than other values. And um, uh, sometimes we are going to adjust our shadow in the X axis and Y axis. Okay, so uh, let me show you the comparison between these two. Let's zoom it to 95%. Okay, so if you look at these shadows, the left and the right, you can see the right one is very subtle and it has a different color. Now, this is the second technique or you can say the third technique that you are going to use a colored, you can see over here, it is a purplish, light purplish uh, shadow over here. Okay, so right now you can see my this icon, this dollar icon or money has been transferred icon is actually in purple color so what i did is i actually created a shadow which is uh, the same value one two and four blur four and uh, y position two x position one and you can see over here i am using the same color you can use this color picker to pick the color over here and i am using the same purple color over here so there is one thing uh, you need to uh, keep in mind that if you are trying to pick a very uh, light color like this one okay so if we have this light color you can see the shadow will be will be more lighter because we are uh, using over here let me uh, make the opacity to 20 percent so you can see now it is almost invisible so if you have very light shadow or light color shadow what you are going to do is you are going to increase this opacity slider bar so we are going to use maybe something around 50 percent or something like that so if we have uh, I, I normally suggest that you try to use the darker color over here for the shadow and just try to adjust this okay so i am using right now let's use 25 percent for this okay so this is looking great so this is another technique try to use a colored shadow and uh, it will you know look great around your um, borders or whatever you are trying to design now here we have another one you can see here we have some elevated shadow elevated means so if I try to you know focus on this or try to hover on this I try or try to click on this or I want to show that this is uh, above all other elements on my page or my web app then you are going to use some kind of shadow like this now what are the values of this shadow let me show you we have x1 i am not moving it too much on the right if you want it is your own liking you can use four or maybe eight over here something like that so you can see now it is more realistic it is moving on the right side so if you want to move it to the left side you are going to add minus over here minus eight is going to move it on the left side like that okay so this is uh, again the shadow study and uh, you can see uh, right now I want it to be elevated so I am shifting my shadow on the Y position so I'm moving it down right now. So I'm moving it down 20 and uh, you can see the blur radius is 30. So I have increased the blur radius more because whenever something is elevated its shadow will be uh, very hard on its background but on the sides it will be very soft. So this is how actually this shadow is going to work. So uh, from this shadow and this one, if you are a designer, you can feel the difference. The difference is only in the color. So you can see on the right side, I'm using a bluish, dark bluish color shadow over here. And on the left, I'm using a black shadow. So you can see this black shadow is not looking that great like this one. So this is looking more nicer and more subtle than this one so you need to keep in mind that these shadows are perfect you have to use some color from your color scheme that is going to make it look nicer okay now let's come to the third technique which i have mastered and i'm going to share it with you because from last past like six months i was thinking that should i share it should i share it or not 
and then I thought that I should share it with my students or on my YouTube channel so others can get benefit. So here we have a third example. You can see this is almost the same shadow which is uh, over here and uh, let me show you what are the values 1, 3 and 16 blur. So this is a little bit of different shadow, soft, medium shadow, not too large, not too short and uh, now the thing about it is sometimes when we have uh, some blur shadow on the top over here it doesn't look very cool or very uh, you know very nice it is like uh, for me it is very you know blurred blurred kind of uh, shadow so I want it to be you know very crisp so what I do is I actually add a, let me zoom in and show you you can see here we have a very light uh, back uh, light border around it so this is very important this is the technique i use i use a very light subtle border along with my shadow so colored shadow and colored border you can see if i go to this over here you can see this border color is actually this one the very lighter color i think this one if you want to adjust it or make it more lighter you can go ahead and you can move it over here somewhere and it will still look good but it must be used to separate uh, the shadow from the this section and also from the background so you can see right now it doesn't feel that i'm using a border but it is there it is making the difference you can if we go on looking closely let me zoom in you can see this is a very thin line over here between this section and this one and it is separating it from the background I, I suggest that we should move it a bit uh, on the darker side so I'm going to use 93% on the brightness okay so this looks a little better okay so this is my fourth secret technique for shadows if you are using UI design you shadows in UI design try to use a, um, some border like this which is very light and almost the same color as your shadow over here Okay, so this is another technique. Now let's come to this bonus technique, which I have just discovered. I always wondered how different designers they actually, let's zoom it to 170%, how actually they create shadows like this one. So this is not a very soft shadow. It is a bit hard, medium hard shadow. And it is very close to this object or this, um, you can say card or whatever you call it. So if I go into the details, you can see over here, first thing is that its opacity is 100%. So whatever color I'm using, I'm using a medium bluish gray color over here and the opacity is 100%. Now the values I'm using is X0. So we are not going to shift it on the right or on the left because we are, it is going to be very close and it is going to be in the Y direction in the, at the bottom of this over here. Then the blur, the magic is in this blur. So I am using Y1 and blur 2. So your blur will be very minimal for this one. If you are trying to increase it, you can see if I try to increase it, the effect will be lost, you can see. So this is actually the magic over here that you need to keep this blur radius very small. So your Y will be one, your blur radius will be two, your color uh, alpha value or opacity will be 100% and you will get this kind of nice looking shadow. Now, if you want to adjust it or you want to make it more nicer or you want to uh, have something like this, I, I am going to shift it to 75%. It is going to be more lighter or more delightful or whatever you call it, I, I don't mind. Anyhow, so this is actually this secret technique. I am going to share this. This is basically an Adobe XD file and uh, I'm going to share this file if you want to download it, but I think you have got the idea. You can experiment with these X, Y values, uh, opacity of the shadow, background of the shadow, using shadow with some outline over here. Then we have this hard medium shadow where we have very close uh, radius blur, uh, which is 2% uh, or two pixels only. So uh, this is all for today's lesson or today's technique and uh, i think you will really love this and uh, i actually enjoyed teaching you this because this was my uh, like uh, wish from my last six months i was trying to 
you know, I have written it down that I am going to make a YouTube tutorial on this one, but uh, I didn't get much of the time. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you liked my tips, you can take my courses online on uh, Udemy and Skillshare and uh, the links are in the description below. And I hope you will uh, like this video and also click on subscribe. I will keep on making these kind of videos whenever something come up. And if you have any suggestions for new videos, you can always uh, tell me, you can always comment on this video and show me what actually uh, you want from me or what you want me to make videos on. So that is all. If you have any questions, comments, do use the comment section below. Anyhow, we will meet in the new video.